Hey everyone, it is time for our recruiting report with Otis Kirk, our recruiting insider. And as always, Otis, we're, we're happy to have you with us to talk about these guys. Let's start with Manny Powell, a three-star linebacker out of Ohio. And he was on campus the past yeah, weekend. He, yeah, he was one of the two official visitors. They, they didn't have a big weekend. Last weekend, they brought in seven. This weekend, it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as big, but it be important players anyway. Uh, he's a 6'2", 225-pound linebacker from Kenton McKinley High School in, in Ohio, as you said. Um, he, uh, he likes Arkansas a lot, and Arkansas offered him. That was one of the first – Coach Shearer really liked him and got on him pretty early when he got the job here at Arkansas. And they – they don't recruit Ohio a whole lot, but yeah. well, I mean they've recruited some. They they've had mixed success there. But if you can get Manny Powell, you're doing that's, that's, that'd be a great pickup for them because we've got one linebacker committed right now. Of course, Caden Henley. Um, he'll be at Indiana next weekend, and in Syracuse he'll wrap up the month of June going to Syracuse for a visit. Ole Miss and Kentucky are two SEC schools that just recently offered him Tara and Boston College is another power five school. He's got several offers. He's got about, I think I wrote the other day, I think he's got about 16 offers. Wow. We're in the story today. It's already up at Pig Trail Nation, Hogville, the story on him. And I've got all of his offers. In there. I, somehow I'm thinking about 16 offers somewhere in that ballpark. But there, he's That's got a lot. lot of, yeah, he's got a lot of offers. Well, uh, Patrick Kutis, a two-way lineman three-star he was the other guy that was on campus what can you tell us about him yeah memphis christian brothers um hosted by marcus henderson uh, another memphis kid mm -hmm. uh, patrick is really got the offers he's probably got about 25 offers Ooh. and uh 6'4 280 pounds here's the thing I found out something talking to him that I didn't know. He doesn't have a preference between offense and defense because Arkansas is recruiting him for defense. Tennessee and others are recruiting. Some others are recruiting for offense. But but there's a bunch of schools are recruiting him. Some want defense, some want offense. Yeah. I, had, I had heard he had a preference for defense, but he told me no. He said I, he doesn't care where he plays. He said he's capable <laughs> of playing on either way. And, and he is. Right. Uh, he's got uh, Ill, he, he was at Illinois. Saw Brett Bielema last weekend. Of course, he was at Arkansas this weekend. Then he goes to Oregon and he goes to Louisville to finish out the month of uh, June. Uh, he had 31 tackles last season, uh, three three tackles for loss, sack, and stuff. Mm -hmm. He he's got uh, some SEC schools are such as Mississippi State, Texas A and M. Tennessee, we talked about Florida State, not an SEC, but I mean Florida State's offering yeah. uh, Indiana, Purdue. You know, he's just got uh, a bunch of offers, and this kid can go various schools. What I like about him is he he's solid enough player that if you get him, and if something didn't work out on defense, I'll tell you, I'll tell you who he reminds me of. Kind of a little bit looking at is Helter Yelta Froho. Yeah. That's Yelta came here. Remember, he came here as a defensive lineman, mm -hmm. and then moved over to offense. Yep. And, I, and I'm not saying I'm not saying Arkansas will move Patrick to uh, offense. I'm just saying his story is similar to what Yelta's was in the sense that he can play both ways. Right. And he just kind of resembled him. I mean, when I looked at him this morning, I kind of thought of Yelta. Not that they're exact twins or anything but that just kind of remind me and that's kind of the thought i had on him but I, he can play either, either way and he doesn't care if it's offense or defense so that's good in that sense and so whoever gets him you know is going to get a good player uh he did visit illinois last weekend <laughs> talked about brett but he's also friends he went to the same high school as chase hayden did and uh you know and dallin hayden chase's younger brother and of course, Chase is at Illinois now. So, so he saw him last weekend too. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Arkansas is in the mix there. I don't expect an immediate decision actually on either one of these kids. Okay. They're both not doing it later in the season or at the end of the season. That's okay. Uh, now, one thing, uh, uh, one thing Patrick did say, he said, you know, I plan on making honey earlier in midseason, but if I get to these, if I finish up this month, and I said, and he said he might take a couple on of it, but if I finish up this month and I know where I want to go, you know, you know, I'll make the decision then. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know that. I'm locked into a later decision, but that's yeah. what his preference is right now. But at the end of the day, if he sits down after these visits in 
feels like, hey, this is home. This is it. <laughs> then he'll commit, you know. Good. Well, no need to rush it. You know, these Why? guys, I know they're excited to finally be able to get two campuses <laughs> once well, again. Yeah. So. You just hit it. A lot of people were asking me, why are these kids committed to taking visits and why are kids not committing and taking, still taking other yeah. visits? Think, you got to remember, so a lot of these kids didn't get to visit anymore last year. Exactly. So years of visits, right? I mean, this is, they're going to enjoy the process in the sense that they didn't yep. get to do it last year. And they've all talked about how much different it is in real in, in person visits as opposed to Zoom. Zoom's good. Yeah. You just can't, you can't get the entire picture in Zoom. You yeah. get some but they all and, and kids are enjoying themselves and, and hey that's they, they got that right to do that right no i i completely agree and, and yeah. we've got we've got one more guy to talk about and that is jalen white so he wasn't on campus this week he's a he's out of little rock though and he has caught yeah. arkansas's attention yeah he's another park view 2022 kid you know they've got james shorner committed there mm -hmm. they've got uh see markel coming in or uh, is here and then is landon rogers aaron outley they're all here they're getting that park view connection going and uh he's six two six three and about 210 pounds can play safety He'll probably be their quarterback now with landon rogers gone he'll probably switch over and play some quarterback for him too but here's the about Jalen, he'd been getting offers everywhere, and, and Arkansas just hadn't offered. Well, he was in Coach Bolding's office one day this week. I I don't remember the day. It was midweek, and Coach Bolding handed him the phone, and it was Coach Pittman on the other line, mm -hmm. on the other on the line, giving and told him he had an offer for him. And Jalen was really excited about <laughs> that. He's got offers to Baylor, Oklahoma State, Arizona State. Uh, uh, you know, Louisville, Kansas State, Utah, Ole Miss. I, I don't think I said that, but Arkansas State. I mean, I think he's got about the same as Manny Powell. I think he's in the 16, 17, 18 offer range. Wow. So he's got a lot of good offers. And all these kids do. I mean, that's why yeah. I was recruiting them. They've got a lot <laughs> of good they're, good. they're good football players. But yeah. Jalen is a kid that, uh, He's, he's the 12th one in the class of 2022 in Arkansas that they have offered. If you could get, if Arkansas could turn out 12 SEC players every year, that would really help this football program. Now it's not going to happen, yeah. but there's more than 12. I mean, there's some other kids that they haven't offered that can play at Arkansas in this 2022 class, but they've got a, they're looking at who, who, who they can get, you know, if they mm -hmm. feel like they get a better player out of state, that's what, but anyway, it's, it's just a, it's a very good crop at 2022 may be one of the best ones ever, yeah. but Jalen, Jalen told me it's still too early to make a decision, but, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he's interested in Arkansas a lot. He likes it a lot. He, he was excited about the offer and, you know, he did say now there's pressure on him to go to Arkansas because Joyner, Rogers, Alley, I see, you know, there's a lot yeah, of he's giving him a hard time. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he'll end up in Arkansas. I really do. But I don't think it's a slam dunk, but I do yeah. think he'll go to Arkansas. I mean, <laughs> I tell you what, Parkview, they've got some talent there. Coach Bolding has done a good job. Mm -hmm. That program had really, back when they had Ricky Williams, Keith Jackson, uh, uh, you know, Anthony Chambers and some of those guys, you know, they were, James Rouse was there at Parkview. They had some great football players at Parkview, yeah. but they had a dry spell for the longest, you know, and, uh, but they're back. They, I think they won eight or nine games last year, and they didn't play all their games. They had some games canceled because of COVID. Uh, but, no, I mean, Coach Bolding has built that program back up and got the players there. And uh, Jalen White, James Joyner, some of those kids are two of them that will be on the team this year. And I'm definitely going to get to see part of you play this year, Tara. I, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and I'm sure everyone would love for the in-state talent to stay in state <laughs> so that's, that's what sam that was one of those you know every coach that comes here talks about putting the fence around the state but when mm -hmm. sam came here he talked about how important it was to keep these kids at home and right. so yeah and for the most part they're doing that this year there's a, they're still on some kids there's a couple of kids committed out of that 12 have committed elsewhere both yeah. favorable kids but for the most part they're doing a really good job of keeping these kids at home that's you know good. kids like andrew chamley was here yesterday for a visit uh uh, Jay, JJ Hollingsworth. Mm -hmm. By the way, let me real quick, I'll be quick. Yeah. JJ Hollingsworth has switched his visit from September the 10th through the 12th 
his official visit will be June the 25th through the 27th. Okay. He texted me during the baseball game yesterday and told me he was switching. I think they're going, I think they're counting on him helping on Trey Emery and some of the kids that we've talked about. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I, I think that's a good idea there. And JJ's going to enjoy, he'll have unofficial tickets to the Texas game. So it's not like he's giving up his right to see the Texas game. Yeah. He, he'll have the, they get three, three tickets for unofficial visits. So he, yeah. he and his great family, he, he's got a great family and, and they'll be at the game and they'll enjoy it. Good. Uh, I know. I think we're all looking forward to that game as well. So. Yeah. I, I told Nick on here one day, I said, you, you're going to get to see something that you haven't seen before. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Nick was hosting this one day and we were talking about that. So yeah, it's going to be great. And all right. looking forward to it, Tara. Yeah. And, and Otis, thanks so much for your time as always. That's going to wrap up our recruiting report though. Yeah. We'll talk to you again next week. Yeah. Thank you.